Since the introduction of Bluetooth and touchscreen technology inside the cars, we wanted that true integration technology with our phones to the car so we can minimize distraction from the road but still be able to use our phone's features in the car such as our music, uh, being able to call people and even text messages. The new 2018 uh, Toyota Raigo finds the solution with the introduction of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which when connected via USB puts our apps on screen. We also have voice recognition in the new Igo and we have a button which is just placed <clears throat> at the side of the touchscreen display which means the integration of Siri and other voice assistants is fully integrated with the car's buttons and features. So quite simply just plug in your phone uh, from the USB cable and then we will have connection to Apple CarPlay. And on the screen we look very familiar with our apps displayed um, quite conveniently and it also uses some third-party apps. Um, here I have Audible, uh, WhatsApp, and I think with the new uh, Apple CarPlay update coming soon, we're going to have Google Maps and other third party apps, which is great news. With Apple Maps, we can set destinations on our phone before we even get to the vehicle. And when we do get to the vehicle and connect, the directions are right there, ready for us to go. Also with Apple Maps, we've got real time traffic updates. And just like our phone constantly updates, and it means we're going to have the latest version of Apple Maps with us at all times. If you're a fan of Apple Music like me, you'd be glad to know that Apple Music does fall through into the music app in the car, having the tab such as Browse and For You, which we can discover music like we do on the app in the car now, which is really nice, and see our friends' playlists too. Uh, and just like that, all our, all our playlists will pull through uh, just as we expect they would do in the car. Also, a little mini feature that I quite like with having the podcasts app on Apple CarPlay is having the ability to use a 15 second skip. This means if you're having a, you know, a podcast on with an hour, two hours long mix, it means we can just quickly skim to the part we want or if you've missed something we can go back without having to use a scrub, which is really nice too. As I mentioned earlier, we have a new button to the left of the touchscreen and this is our voice recognition button. This will fully integrate to the software so we can command, say Siri, to uh, call someone or play a certain song, ask it for directions. We can even dictate a message to send to our friends. So it's really, really handy. And again, it's just reinforcing that minimal distraction from the screen on the road by just telling the car what we want it to do. Hey Siri, uh, send a message to Craig. What do you want to say? Craig, I am in the new Toyota Raigo. It's really great. And I'm using Apple CarPlay. Craig Norton says, Craig, I am in the new Toyota. I go really great and I'm using Apple CarPlay. Ready to send it? Yep, send. There we go, that was a quick overview of Apple CarPlay in the new Toyota Raigo. If you'd like to come and look at it for yourself, we're located on Shrewsbury, Telford and Stafford, WR Davies Toyota. Uh, we've got plenty of demonstration vehicles to take out on the road and showroom models in all different variety of colours to look at inside the showroom. So we look forward to seeing you very soon. Check out the new Toyota Igo. Thanks for watching. I've been Phil.